What's up? Welcome to Raider Reaction Saturday Night Fights 5. Yeah, that's right. It's the fifth one already. We've had four previous, and the views have gotten more and more and more every single one. And we think this is the best one yet. We've got three amazing matchups for you. First, we've got Michigan versus NBA Jams. And then the women come back to Raider Reaction Saturday Night Fights as we got Jits Chick versus Average Bitch. And then in your main event of tonight, number five, we've got Ed Brand Jim versus New York. And this one you do not want to miss. Trust me, this is an amazing matchup from north to south. Don't want to miss this one. Trust me. Three amazing matchups once more. Again, on Raider Reaction, Saturday Night Fights 5. Let's get after it. And here we go with our first match of the night. We've got NBA Jam versus Michigan. This should be a very interesting fight. This is strictly a stand-up striking match. And, and here we go. Nice head movement by NBA Jam. Swinging wildly already is Michigan. The NBA Jam's got some nice head movement. Oh! He just went straight ostrich, ladies and gentlemen. Straight ostrich. Head right to the sand. Uh, looks like the referee is stopping. The referee is counting him. Now, he has not stopped this fight yet, ladies and gentlemen. He is counting the man on the ground currently. This fight still may continue, and he has now waved off the fight, as it looks like NBA Jam is completely... Uh, he, he doesn't know where the fuck he is at right now. Somebody needs to offer this man a hand. It looks like Michigan, with the blue shorts and the maize gloves there, is your winner, victorious by knockout. Straight ostrich. He went straight ostrich. Let's go back and take a look at this and see where it all went wrong for NBA Jim. Michigan comes out with the clean one-two as, as he throws the quick left followed by the right. And nice distance there by NBA Jam as I really thought he had a good chance here. As he had nice head movement and was keeping nice distance early in the fight and was counterpunching well. As you see right there after the one-two, he comes across with the quick right counterpunch and again, Staying nice distance, not even one of these punches has touched him thus far. He has dodged every one, and again, on the way out, nice clean counter punch. He's catching Michigan early, and he's actually doing very well under the attack. Now, right here is a big, huge haymaker, as he is just absolutely going to murder this guy. And this, I want to show you, is just how quickly a fight can change right here. Within a split second, right here, Michigan drops his hands and leaves his jaw wide open for a counter punch as NBA Jam comes through clean. Now, if this catch is clean, Michigan's going to sleep. But he just, by a split second, misses, and then here comes the night-night punch. Misses the counter punch, just missing the button, and then straight ostrich after that as Michigan's big right hook catches him clean on the button. And he's going down. Going down like a sack of shit, face first, NBA jam, in the dirt. And this, this is what I just find absolutely insane. He's clearly out. When you go face first, you're out. And, and for the referee to now come over and come down, check on him, basically pull him up off the ground, and then start to count the man. Like, look, I, did you really need to give him a stand in eight? I think he's done. I, I don't think you needed to... to and, and, and I hear it finally. He graciously waves off the fight. And a victory, nonetheless, Michigan... Put the beat down on NBA Jam. Straight ostrich. Straight ostrich. When you go face first, it's out. I can't believe the ref continued counting. Did he think he was going to come back? Was it the a la Buster Douglas? Uh, it wasn't meant to be. That one's over, and it's time to move on to our co-main event as the females have returned to Raider Reaction Saturday Night Fights. It's time for your co-main event. Let's get after it. And here we are for our co-main event of the evening. We got Jits Chick versus Average Bitch. One's got skills, 
One's just a bitch. Here we go. Early, tying up early. Average bitch. She's getting some, getting some. Sh oh, there's a clean right from oh, another clean right, right on the button. Uh, Jits Chick's working in. She's got a hold of the bun. Ooh, full roll, and she's almost ended up mount. She's jumped the shoulder. Looks like she's going for some sort of. Oh, clean, clean shots from the top. Ooh, my. Very clear. She's going for the rape choke. And, oh, shoulders up. She, she's going for the arm. Oh, Ooh, I think she may have snapped it. She's working back, continuing with the ground and pound. Relentless. Damn. And, and hooks in. She, she's going for the choke. She's got it sunk deep. Referees are trying to get in and separate the action here. She's got it sunk, not even fighting it. No Get two hands to the choke arm, nothing. Hey, she does not know how to defend the choke, and <laughs> that bitch is out cold. Oh, Jits Chicks is your winner. Let's go back and look how this started out and where things went wrong. Very good start right here by Average Bitch, actually, as she, right there, a very clean right. That could have finished the whole fight right there. That cleanly could have finished the fight. Hands down by Jits Chicks. Obviously, not striking is not her strong suit. And again, another clean shot which could have finished the fight but right here she closes distance and this is her game right here she gets in close and right here where she latches on to this bun of average bitch this is where the fight absolutely changes simple jiu-jitsu judo type move here as she gets the momentum and the body weight of the opponent moving forward and uses it against her as to go into a full roll moves into a dominant position on the bottom maintains control and continues to roll over putting her opponent on the back and the second she goes to mount the strikes start to rain down this is where she is at home. Jits Chick starts to take average bitch to absolutely taking her to the fucking woodshed right here. She is beating her down. And then she implements the rape choke. And this is Jiu Jitsu 101 right here. Rape choke blockage of the airways causes what? Causes the arm to raise, which raises the shoulder off the ground, which allows Jits Chick to slide the knee under the shoulder, as you will see. Allowing her to take the arm, separate it, and snap that motherfucker like a goddamn twig. You will even hear the audible soon as the pain sets in from average bitch. It's, it's almost deafening. Almost deafening. And clearly in pain. Clearly in pain. And... Right there, as soon as she extends that full arm, now she knows her mind is completely off what's going on. The arm has just been broken, and she continues the relentless ground and pound upon average bitch. This is my kind of chick right here. No regard for the opponent's well-being. And I'm just going to finish this fight, and I'm about to ragdoll your ass. Here she goes, full back mount, has the hook set in. As you see, Average Bitch has no idea to how to even defend this sort of skill level of ground attack. No two hands to the choke arm. And she's out. Completely out. You have a win by choke out. No tap. She went out. Ditch chick is your winner in the co-main event as the women return to Raider Reaction Saturday Night Fights. Beat her down, snapped her twig, left her unconscious. Jits Chick has no regard for her opponent's well-being whatsoever. A complete and total domination. She needs to keep her hands up, though, because she about got her jaw jacked at the beginning of that fight. Let her fucking hang in them hands. Savage bitch almost pulled off the upset, but was not meant to be. Now, it's time for our main event. The North versus the South. New York versus Inbred Gym. This is a matchup. It's been boiling for a while. This is a true main event. Let's get after it. And now it's time for our main event of the evening. New York versus Inbred Gym. One's out of town. The other family tree has no branches. Here we go. As you see, they're squaring off firmly. 
Inbred Jim is accompanied by his Brunkle. Uh, Brunkle is a brother slash uncle. As you see, we are getting chippy here. This is another one of our main events are going to go down in the convenience store. This, this seems to be a common place for these big fights to take place. And you see, they're clearly squaring off between the two sides. Uh, New York is you know, he's, staying, he's from New York. And it looks like we are starting to get a clear square off now between New York and Inbred Jim and fights does. Strikes have been exchanged. New York throws the first punch and New York looks to have the he's got a he's got clear back mount but he looks like he's too high. Sliding out the back door is Inbred Jim and he's Oh, he's on top of the ground and pound has begun. Um, New York looks to be in a very bad position and it looks like his arms may be caught up in his jacket and things are t looking to really go south right here. He, he needs to move. He needs to move. He needs to... Oh, my. Oh, my. Where, where's the referee? Somebody needs to step in. This is clearly gotten out of hand. Where is the referee? There, there, and we finally have a stoppage. This got really ugly really fast for New York. Um, we're gonna have to go back and take a look at this and see exactly where this fight went wrong. He he started out well, but clearly he's went and, and gotten himself knocked out here. At, at New York, the aggressor right out of the gate, throws the left, followed by the right, and he has inbred Jim reeling right out of the gate. Inbred Jim charges. This is really his only chance of defense is his size advantage. And right here, New York has full advantage as he has him pushed up against the Buick. But as the Buick backs out of the way, New York loses a little bit of his leverage and falls forward. Now, he has him in a clearly dominant position here, almost in a mount, but he's a little high on the back. So he starts to lose positioning as inbred Jim tries to slide out the back door here as the Buick is pulling out of the way. And what happens right here is while Inbred Jim is trying to hold on and slide out the back door, he gets a hold of the jacket, shirt, sweater, whatever the fuck it was that New York was wearing. And as this happens, one of his arms and his other hand are completely now handcuffed and tied up so he cannot even defend himself. So now Inbred Jim is about to completely fucking beat him like a goddamn bass drum from both sides of his fucking dome. He is getting thumped in an ugly, nasty manner, and the fact he is not even moving or trying to defend himself is almost hard to watch. As you see, both of his arms are completely tied up. He is clearly out. He is clearly done. Inbred Jim is your winner as him and his Brunkle walk off vic watching a clear victorious, and right here, New York goes full circus seal, stick a fucking ball on his nose, throw that motherfucker a fish, he's done. Full circus seal. Ooh, straight circus seal. That is something you don't see every day, ladies and gentlemen. That is a special, special ending for number five. Great reaction, Saturday Night Fights 5. I told you, you didn't want to miss that main event. New York, unfortunate, as, as it looked like he had the upper hand in the beginning, but inbred Jim, with his uh, Brunkle by his side, walked off victorious. Thank you for joining us. As always, we appreciate any second you spent this here at Raider Reaction. Until next time, I'm out. Peace, love, Raider Nation. Ah!